going on, fellow junkies? Horror Junkies 509, Kyle 13th, coming at you again today, you guys. And uh, looky who we have here. Mm -hmm. If you don't remember, this is my wife, my wife, Diva de los Muertos. Good evening. Hola, mis amores. How are you this evening? And you guys know, when Diva joins us in this horror room, you know... An episode of the Gory Details is coming right at you, you guys. Yes, it has been far too long since our last one. Uh, so we are ready to knock this one out. And um, we actually kind of have a surprise for uh, our, our next episode. Because Angelina and I are thinking uh, we're going to Vegas. And uh, so we're going to do an episode in Vegas. What do you guys think of that? Yeah! We are thinking that's going to be pretty radical <laughs> right on. So uh, we'll go ahead and go right into this episode. Because, uh, I mean, heck. Hell, I think the one in Vegas is going to be a little bit cooler, but hey, let's go ahead and show them that we still got it. Puppy, I think we're going to see a side of you we never saw before. Because I'm going to be wasted. Totally wasted. And I just want to say, I'm a professional mask wearer now. Really? I wear masks. Like, mm -hmm. did you get a little certificate? Yeah. And a medal. Oh. <laughs> Where do, how do I get one? I've worn way more masks. They only get one. Oh. That seems not right. So, Diva, it's been a while since you've been on the channel. What's been going on? Well, just been dealing with the COVID like everybody else. Wearing uh, my mask, every store. You know, but at least we have stores because some places don't have stores, I think. That's true. We got to um, count our blessings for where we're at. Mm -hmm. and there are some, uh, like the fancy restaurant you took me to, we were able to sit there. Yep. Um, that was nice. I was able to take my wife out on a nice fancy dinner. I don't get to do it enough. And it was very nice. I was able to do it. Yes, papi. It was delicioso. So, other than that, everything... I ate too much. <laughs> Everything's been, you know, I mean, as good as it can be, yeah. considering what, you know, COVID out there. I hope you all are staying safe. Please be masks. safe out there. Yes. I know a lot of y'all think it's bullshit, and a lot of it is, but that virus, I think, really does exist. And, I think we, so. you know, there's nothing wrong with staying safe, you yeah. know? You don't want to get sick, period, of any kind of sick. Unless you weirdos want to make your own horror story and you guys <gasps> get it, that would and be awesome. And document it and document it. Ooh. You know, the, where's all these COVID movies? You know they're coming. Well, I know that's right. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> all right, you guys. So that's that's where we're at. You guys know where I'm at. I come to you at least once a week. Uh, but definitely yes. wanted to get you a little update of Diva, what's going on with her. She's rocking and rolling. She's enjoying her summer yes. uh, with me since I'm not working currently. So we get to play. It's okay, baby. We get to play. I know. That's what it's all about. Mucho, mucho play. All right, you guys. So for some of you guys that are new, uh, what is an episode of The Gory Details, you guys? Well... Me and Diva here, we're going to pick a movie that is on uh, a chocolate coin in this treasure box of horror. And so we mix it up, we pick a coin, and whatever movie is on that coin, we go and watch it. We get all the gory details for you, and we come back and rely them to you. And you can do with what, them whatever you want. Well, we, we were told that we should start <laughs> reviewing Disney movies, so that's where that's from at. I think she's practicing. Uh, but this is still hard, you guys, so don't worry. This is not full of Disney movies yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, so uh, without further ado, uh, Diva, will you pick our movie tonight? Yes, I will. Well, let me show and shake this up. Check it, Bobby. Check it, Mucho. Check it, Don't break it, Bobby. <laughs> Sorry, I did like the electrocuting uh, style of shaking. Is that okay? No. <laughs> it's fine. <gasps> That's one you never did before, but I know, but I gotta remember all the foil has probably come off the frickin' chocolate. Great. Are you ready to pick Diva? I am ready, puppy. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what you pick. You pick the good ones. Yeah, I try. I try my hardest, you know, when it comes to chocolate. Yeah. I'm trying to pick the bestest one. Oh, here it is. This one, I feel it. This I like one. it. nothing on there. <laughs> Let me turn it around. Oh, there we go. The Blood Stained Shadow. The Blood Stained Shadow. And uh, normally I would give you guys like a piece of uh, advice about this movie, but I think this is a movie that's been in my collection and I haven't seen it yet. I think Angelina's a little excited about the chocolate. So The Blood Stained Shadow, you guys. Uh, Papi, it's ready for a chocolate. I'm always ready for my chocolate. <laughs> Get it, Kyle the 13th. Ooh. Yeah. So 
So I guess all in all, I'm hoping that this is a good movie. Hmm. I will let you know if it's not. <laughs> you know I don't beat around the bush or sugarcoat shit. <laughs> it's good or no good. It's gory or no gory. Blood or no blood. Like, you know I'll tell y'all. But um, I'm excited about this movie because we haven't seen it. I'm always down for new horror. Heck yeah. Slashers. What if it's been a movie that's been sitting in my collection and we just love it? Gory. Yes. Yep. All right, so we're going to go watch it, you guys. Stick with us, and we'll let you know about the gory details. Yes. Yes, honey, I remember. Okay. I have to take you shopping. Yes. All right, you guys. See you in a bit. Don't go anywhere, y'all. All right, junkies, and we are back. The credits have rolled with the movie we're watching tonight. And, babe, can you tell me just one thing? How did the bloodstained shadow get so bloodstained with no blood? There was no blood stain. There wasn't even a stain. Yeah, so maybe this should be called the stained shadow. Yeah. Strangle shadow? Yeah. The strangle shadow. I think we're on to something here, you guys. Uh, all right, you guys. As you know, we just got done watching the uh, blood stained shadow from uh, 1978. Um, yeah, if you guys were looking for something gory, this was not it. Uh, too bad we've never seen this movie before, so this was kind of a blind watch for us. Uh, but don't don't get us wrong. Don't turn off this movie video because it was a good movie. It was. I will give you that. I did um, enjoy Normally, it. if there's no gore, we kind of want to hate it. But, I mean, honestly. But I like foreign films. It was enjoyable. It was a foreign film. I'm a lover. And it was a good time. Of foreign films. Yeah. It was a good time. It just, not for gory details. It, and it, it was pretty period. slow, but for you Giallo fans out there, this might be something right for you. But this was a good Giallo. Uh, a little slow, but kind of Giallos, that's kind of what they do. Uh, so, baby, you ready to dig right into this thing? I am. Let's do it. All right, you guys. So, like we said, we watched 1970, yeah, 1978's The Bloodstained Shadow, uh, which we are changing the name to The uh, Stained Shadow. No, to The Strangle Shadow. Uh, the Stained Strangler. <laughs> the Stained Strangle Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you said the first time, am I right? Okay, yeah. All right, you guys. So, this was directed by Antonio Bido. I do not recognize anything else he directed. I think he's got another horror movie under his belt, but I haven't seen it, so I can't rep it, represent it. Oh. <laughs> Don't do. Yeah. All right, guys, <laughs> but we do also have a familiar face in this movie, and her name is uh, Stephanie uh, Cassini. Uh, she is uh, Sarah from the original Suspiria. Yeah. So for you Suspiria fans out there, which uh, I enjoy very much, uh, the original and the remake, actually. The remake was weird. The remake fuck. was funky. Yeah, but I, I still liked it. But a funky, freaky good time. Sure. Yep. You don't have your notes. I know, but I... It's all up here, baby. Go get... I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make it up as I go. I'm, I'm good just at kidding. improvising. All right, you guys. So we will go ahead and get right into the plot. And I'm sorry about this plot for now because uh, there is so much stuff going on in this movie. I don't know what the hell is going on at all. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just dig into this. Angelina, if you'd be so kind to help me out as we go. Uh, so basically, okay. this guy comes uh, to an island visiting his brother, who's a priest. Okay, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Um, uh, we eventually we see like a seance of people. It doesn't have the brother or the priest in it. Um, and uh, it's like it ends up being like a a, a, a medium, doctor? a doctor, uh, some lady, um, a molester. Ew! He was a piano teacher. Yeah, he was. He, a was he liked touching He's boys gross. like a lot. So gross. And uh, so basically, people start getting picked off after the brother starts. Uh, brother comes to visit. And, uh, you know, it's the na natural giallo sense that, uh, you know, they're giving out red herrings and everybody seems to be the killer. Red um, herrings. But for all, basically the, the killers are going around and uh, everyone's trying to figure out who the killer is, but also going on with their daily lives. Like the brother who's coming to visit dating the girl from Suspiria that are going out on boat rides and stuff like that. Uh, the father's, uh, the priest guy's being a priest. Uh, pretty much the people, everybody that was in the, um... The seance. seance was getting killed and picked off, and the molester guy was being a molester. Sickle. It's pretty much terrible. Gross. And you guys, I'm sorry, but that is the plot. That is as best I can give you guys. Um, but a giallo, you know, it's a mystery, so, you know, uh, basically they're trying to figure out the mystery the entire time. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, that was just... Who done it? Uh, that, was a Who? that was an absolute terrible plot synopsis, and I thoroughly <laughs> apologize. I hope you guys kind of get a grasp of what's going on, but who could after that? I could. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into Angelina's favorite part, the body count. The Maybe body you want to go over this? Yeah, let's do the body count. Okay. You know, for being a non-gory, uh, we had, uh, I believe it was, was six kills? Seven overall. Seven overall, that's right. Yeah. Yes. 
There was a, yeah. Okay, so seven. Because that one right at the end I counted. Right, so seven kills and, uh, yeah, it wasn't gory. But hey, guys, you know what? Like I said, it was a good movie. Mm -hmm. um, if you like foreign films, this was for you. Not gory at all, but seven kills and I'll, I'll take it. You know, for seeing a, a movie we hadn't seen at all, didn't you know anything about it? It was very it. enjoyable, but I mean, so, like I said, it just was not the gory details. Right, right. So next time, I'll pick it again and I'll do it right. I'm thinking we just need to pick, start to pick on the movies instead of doing it and random. Just almost. randomly? Maybe. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you guys like it going random or would you guys like us to specifically pick the movie? Uh, so basically every Friday 13th the movie is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Big old Friday the 13th, but yeah. Like a lot. Okay. <laughs> so seven kills, you guys. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Okay, seven kills for you all. Um, So it wasn't bad. Yeah. And like I said, if you're a foreign film uh, fan, this is going to get right up your alley. Okay? So. So, babe, do you want to ride right into your favorite kill? Yeah, sure. Okay, so my favorite kill, and it wasn't really bloody, but it's my favorite kill because it's the molester. He gets killed, and he had it coming. It is the bloodiest Itch. kill, actually. Yeah. <laughs> bloodiest. <laughs> <laughs> you see blood. Yeah, you see a little blood. But anyways, that was my favorite kill. Um, he not only was a molester, he was a prick, too. Like, I mean, yeah. not that being a molester wasn't enough. Not but... being a good molester is still not good. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> like being a nice molester. <laughs> right? Or, like, what, one of those really, like, yeah, I don't know how to explain it. You know, some molesters, you don't even know that they're a molester because they're so nice. And they seem really good, like a good person. This right. guy was not hiding shit. He was a prick. And he was a molester, too. So when yeah. they killed his ass, I was like, yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm going to go ahead and dig into this a little bit more just because this is also my favorite kill. Wait, I wasn't done. Oh, okay. Then. Uh, okay, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> I should have saw that coming. You should have. All right, so to dig right into it, you guys, like I said, this is also my favorite kill because the guy is a molester. Um, so it was the most satisfying kill out of all of them. And uh, so he was stabbed in the heart by a halibut, uh -huh. which is basically like a spear. And so it was just very uh, satisfying to see him go out that way because he didn't deserve any thing else like a lot of the kills in this movie are strangulations and uh i don't think he deserved to be strangled i think i'm definitely happy to see that he got stabbed yeah. and the only other movie or a kill that had any blood on this was uh the doctor that was a part of the seance he got a little bit of blood on his head because the guy like hit him with something and then he fell in the water but then it leads on he's riding on a boat and then the killer gets another boat and he smashes him in between two boats Smoke ahead, smash. Yeah, so that was probably bloody, but they didn't show it. But the little blood on his head. Blood. <laughs> there was blood, people. <laughs> Just there a little bit. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, you guys kind of already know the gore scale, but this is what we're going to rate this movie as far as a gory flick. Uh, this is probably going to be a joke, but, babe? One. I give it a one because yeah. there was a little blood. I mean... I can't give it a zero because there was actually blood. Yeah. So not a lot, but there was a little bit. And I'm giving it an uno as well. And I just broke one of my chains. That makes me sad. You're a copycat of puppy. <laughs> hey, but I didn't say I didn't like it. <laughs> I like it a lot. That's the biggest compliment you give me is by copying me. But I think you're copying me I because I, I wrote it down first. You're just saying it first. Yeah. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god, that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> and it was recorded. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right, uh, so like we said, we're both giving it a gore scale no, of one. No, two. <laughs> gore scale of one. Oh okay. no. Oh no. No, no blood. All right, you guys, uh, so uh, anything else you want to say about this movie before we wrap this up, huh? I mean... Are we going to give an overall rating? Yeah, we'll do that at the very end. Okay, um, no, just that I personally enjoyed it because it's a foreign film, and I like foreign films. I do. It's something about their the music they use, and, you know, it's just different. Yeah. And the, the vibe, and they're always, like, obviously, like, in another country, it's, uh, like, Italy, usually. I, I don't know, they got yeah. the stone buildings and the stone everywhere. It's very... It, it, it's very uh, enjoyable to look at because you're in a like, different scenery than you you get like in America or something like that. Yes, and let me tell you, as a diva, um, the clothes and the fashion is different, and I really like that too. Like right. I don't know, I I like what's always in, but I also like weird stuff. Like and these yeah, these whatever. foreign films definitely give you some way fun music. Absolutely, I do enjoy it a lot. Yeah, and the people too, they just look different. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, 
It's fun. Just a completely different walk. And of I life. enjoy it. So, but as far as gory, nah. So if you're looking for gore, they'll give it a shot. Um, but if you're looking for horror film, and if you're a Giallo fan, this is right up your alley. Yeah, if you're a Jello fan, J E L L O. It's live. Pudding pops. I don't know if a lot of you guys that watch shows remember those <laughs> Jello commercials, but. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're going to go ahead and give our overall rating, and then we are going to spoil this SOB. No, we're not. I'm not giving shit. Why? Because I don't want to. Okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to give your overall rating, or do you yeah. want me to go first? No, you go first. <clears throat> All right. So for me, I'm going to go ahead and give this a solid six, uh, because I did I did enjoy it, you guys. It is a little slow. Uh, the gore's not there. The story's fun, even though it's a little bit all over the place. Uh, but I definitely can't say I've seen anything exactly like this before. No. So it was definitely uh, enjoyable. And I just, I can't put it any lower. And uh, I just don't feel like it goes any higher with me. It's a solid six for me. Wow. Okay. So speaking of never seen anything like that before, mm -hmm. it, I, just real quick, it reminded me of that movie Amsterdam. I Oh, but it. that one's so much bloodier. I know, but it just, I never seen anything like that. Like yeah. the dudes in the canals. It was cool. Oh, okay. Anyway. I love oh, Amsterdam. So back too. to the um, bloodstained underwear. What was it? <laughs> I think that might have been better. <laughs> <laughs> the blood stained shadow. Well, that's right, the strangled shadow. So I my overall rating, I'm gonna give it a four, a solid four, because I But that's still not a bad rating. It's not. Uh, and I'm 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 rating it on a gory scale, not on a whole okay. film. I'm also rating the gore. It wasn't there, but the movie saved it because I do like foreign films. Mm -hmm. So I gave it a solid four. Because like I said, overall it's a good movie. Like the foreign vibe, I dig it, man. Like mm -hmm. I really like it. Like a lot. Mucho. It's fun. Mucho. Yeah. So solid four from Diva de los Muertos. She's so delightful, isn't she? <laughs> All right, you guys, so we are going to go ahead and dig into spoilers. So if you do not want this movie spoiled, uh, it's your time to go. Uh, so we'll see you next time. And uh, we're going to be coming at you from Vegas next time. Uh, so that should be pretty ah! exciting. Oh, my God. I know. And uh, so uh, get in it right into spoilers, you guys. The biggest thing I want to spoil is just a killer. Um, basically, it ended up being the guy's brother, the father, the priest. Uh, he ended up killing the, the little girl at the beginning when the, when the little brother was just a kid. And he still had, like, psychological issues. And, and it would cause him, like, anxiety attacks. Yeah. Because he would have these flashbacks, but he didn't quite remember what. Yeah. Yeah. And what basically, he up. was just killing all these people. He just had an issue. Fucked up. And, like, but the big, big thing is there's, like, three or four people killing in this movie. Okay, I, I want to say three. Fucked like, up. La, the, the one of this late this lady that was in the seance, she, was, she ended up killing the medium. And then the lady <laughs> for extortion. Yeah, the lady who <laughs> the lady who killed the medium had a child, and that she kept hidden, and he was killing too. No, 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 no. He wasn't killing. He was there to avenge his mother's murder because the father killed his mother. So he was there to avenge her murder by killing the father. But it looked the okay. way they played it. It looked like the kid killed his mom, so and I got then confused. killed the father. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's it. okay. I got you, boo boo. All right, I so that's like that. how that happened. Mm -hmm. All right, it's there good. you go. So there was more than one killer in this movie. Did yeah. you see that coming? Nope. Sure All right. Didn't. All right, babe. So is there anything else you got for this episode? <sighs> nope. I just I had a good time. It was we needed to do a video. We need some gory movies. Yeah, we need some gory movies. So hopefully we'll be able to deliver when we're in Vegas. Oh Ow. yeah. All right, you guys, so that's going to do it for us, the Horror Junkies 519, Kyle the 13th, and Diva de los Muertos. Diva de los Muertos on my summer break. And y'all, stay safe out there with that COVID-19, you know. Wear your masks, please. Seriously, um, I I got tested and it was negative, you know, so, but still. So that means I don't have it, too. But people have it, and, you know, just be careful, you know. You don't want to get sick, you know, it's not necessary, so. We love y'all. Thanks for watching. Gracias, mi gente, mi raza. Come check us out again on our next episode. We will be filming in Vegas. And uh, one last thing I want to see. Hey, Lee, are you watching this one? <gasps> yeah. We Lee. just want to know. Shout out to our friends, Marilyn and Lee. Thanks, guys, for watching. We love y'all. It was good to hang out on the 4th. Yeah. That was very nice. It was long overdue, guys. And now you're in the video. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for us. Cobb 13th and Diva Delos Moto signing out. Justin Hill next time, you guys. And you already know it. We have been sentenced to life. We are horror lifers. And you guys have a killer day. Ciao, mi amores. Until next time. Stay bloody, my friends. Mm -hmm.